Cape Town is the second most populous urban area in South Africa after Johannesburg and is also the capital and primate city of the Western Cape province. As the seat of the Parliament of South Africa, it is also the legislative capital of the country. It forms part of the city of Cape Town Metropolitan Municipality too. The city is famous for its harbour and natural setting in the Cape Floristic region and for such well-known landmarks as Table Mountain and Cape Point. A road travel through the city exposes the heritage and history of the township but as well as that of the entire country. No wonder, even for hospitality areas like hotels, the historic phenomenon has been kept sacred. The foundation and the first five floors of this building um, are actually made up of two uh, heritage buildings. The one used to be the old reserve bank in Cape Town, so it's positioned on St George's Mall in that direction. Uh, it dates back to 1934 already, so that used to be the old bank. And then adjacent to that we had a building that uh, used to be the base of operations for all the barristers in Cape Town initially. It dates back to 1896 uh, and it's called the Temple Chambers. A well interconnected road system that provides for a well controlled traffic flow evidenced by the well built pathways and demarcations in respect for spacing between roads and buildings. This road system is not void of history with many buildings and streets named after its countrymen. <laughs> Cape Town is one of the most multicultural cities in the world, reflecting its role as a major destination for immigrants and expatriates to South Africa. Such culture is depicted and kept alive in the township-based settings such as Bokup. The Bokup is an area of Cape Town formerly known as the Malay Quarter. It is a former township situated on the slopes of Signal Hill above the city centre and is a historical centre of Cape Malay culture in Cape Town. The area is known for its brightly colored homes and cobblestoned streets. The city also boasts of other historic buildings, including the St. George's Cathedral, founded in 1901, and is also one attached to anti apartheid activist Bishop Desmond Tutu. The Cape Town Stadium is another thriller of sight. It was built for the 2010 FIFA World Cup, carefully designed in the shape of a Zulu cultural heart. Clearly, Cape Town infrastructure rides on history and this is what has attracted many immigrants into the city to partake of this rich past. And because of the many tourists in the city, the hotel industry has gradually flourished. But one also has to be cognizant of all these landmarks while planning in respect to hospitality but with caution. What's really important, it is about sleep quality. So when you design a hotel, when you build a hotel, you really got to look at the space that you provide for your guest, the luxury amenities, the connectivity from a Wi-Fi point of view is very important nowadays. So whether you are a family coming off a long haul flight and you're here for a leisure trip, or you're a business person coming from Johannesburg who wants to work on your laptop all night, we got to provide for all those needs. For many, Cape Town seems an almost no-go zone, for it is considered very expensive, even with a lot of tourism sites. Value, value, value. So what you offer as, uh, as a luxury hotel, uh, whether it is somebody coming to your restaurant, somebody staying in your room, somebody coming to use the spa or a conference facility, you have to be fair towards our local clientele. That's first our prominent um, uh, focus is to how do we satisfy our local a Cape Townian client uh, because we want them to be happy with the value that we provide. The tourism industry has done tremendously well in collaboration and promotion of the city. A yacht or helicopter tour around the city is a must do in Cape Town. This exposes a scenic view of the city on a well explained narration of the various landmarks. The Cape of Good Hope that separates the two oceans on which Cape Town is seated, Atlantic and Pacific Oceans, the beautiful road system on the mountainous landscape, the beaches and many much more to behold that will leave you in L. For NBS Focus on South Africa, I'm Mildred Tuhaisi, NBS Live at 9.